Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Adversary here, and it's been a while since I did the last commentary. <clears throat> you have to forgive me ahead of time, allergies are killing my throat today, and no, it's not because of any other action. But uh, yeah, I know I say every single time pretty much that it's been a while since I did my last commentary, but let's be honest, I'm throwing out commentaries about every two months. So, it goes to be true each time I do a commentary. Anyways, I got a good gameplay here, I get like 27 kills, only died like 32 times. Uh, not really. Uh, I have no idea what gameplay I'm putting up right now. I still have to go record it. Probably be Modern Warfare 3, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. Okay, um, it's good to be back to school now. Uh, I got my new, 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 old, old new connection with uh, great download, great upload speed thanks to my router. So I uh, should be able to upload videos with no trouble as long as I have the energy and motivation to do so. Uh, that's for now. Uh, in the next couple months or so I think I'm gonna be pretty pretty busy with extracurricular school activity so I don't know how much content I'll be putting out in that time period like October or so November that kind of time frame uh, if worse comes to worse uh, that will kind of be a dead stretch and then I'll get back uh, from uh, fall semester and be putting up stuff again but um, anyway so right now I'm pretty much just playing on doing the same old stuff I'm putting on this channel. I'm doing some kind of miscellaneous sprees of stuff I gotta need for a speed thing I'm putting up again probably. Um, I might have a few Halo or Call of Duty things I'm putting together. I'm kind of hesitant on putting uh, Call of Duty like mini Taj or episode up again because I decided, uh, me and my friend Jimmy, I've talked about way too many times before, no we're not gay. Um, are, we're going to be working on a best of dual -tage, multi Call of Duty dual -tage, and best of pretty much since the beginning of time since we first started recording clips and I every single time I give out a date a tentative date even on something big that I'm going to be uploading I always get it off but or I always get it wrong but I'm going to say anyways just because this is what I have planned for now. I hope to have it out, the giant Taj out before, shortly before the release of Black Ops 2. Um, we will see. I plan on doing quite a bit of work into editing this. Uh, I already have most of Jimmy's clips, and I'm trying. I'm trying my ass off to get clips in other Call of Duties. Um, I'm trying today again on, on Modern Warfare 2. It's kind of lost my touch of that. There was a time where I used to be able to get clips pretty much every day almost on command with that. I'm trying to work that, work my way back to that, but it's not working out so well. Uh, Black Ops, nothing needs to be said about that. It's, it's, it, uh, it speaks for itself when trying to get, do something in that game. Just the two words, Black Ops. And Call of Duty 4, um, kind of just gonna throw out a mini rant here in Call of Duty 4. Uh, people really to go, to go out of the way to express that this is like the best game ever and like clips on this are so well respected and it is in its peak I don't know I didn't play I didn't get into Call of Duty because in 07, 08, 09 I was still playing Halo but I didn't get into Call of Duty until Modern Warfare 2 came out like three months into it so I don't really know Call of Duty 4 when there were hundreds of thousands of people on but um, now I mean it just seems so almost one-dimensional to me um, granted a lot of the players now in Call of Duty 4 are mostly snipers but uh, even now like getting clips in Call of Duty 4 I mean everyone's people are, are going out saying like Modern Warfare 2 is the easiest sniping game in the franchise which I don't disagree with generally but the certain aspects I mean I'm thinking ACOG with the Call of Duty 4 scope it's a one-shot kill like anywhere and you zoom in so fast it hardly even looks like a sniper with a, with a scope on it but um i mean I, i'm so used to the the reg scopes and the, the zooming in kind of slower and whatnot and people are always running around using bandolier stuff in power city and just running around no scoping everybody and it doesn't matter what third perk i use i try to no scope somebody and never will hit them so that's down in call of duty 4 that's my opinion kind of everyone uses the same thing not enough variety uh, makes me rage because I go 12 and 56 all the time. Not really. I do okay, but I don't get clips. But I'm trying. 
we will see how many I can get when the Taj comes out. If there's more than like three or two, I don't even know. I have to go back and look through my clips. If there's like more than three, I've probably been doing something good over the past month or so uh, in terms of getting clips for that. Anyways, <coughs> excuse me. Moving down the timeline a little bit, uh, going to November when both Halo 4 and Black Ops 2 are coming out, I will be getting, try to be getting Halo 4 just about as soon as possible. Uh, time permitting in college to actually go out and get something and spend the money on it. I don't believe, no, it's not that I don't believe, I know I'm not going to be getting <clears throat> Black Ops 2 uh, when it comes out. I don't know if it's going to be weeks after, I don't know if it's going to be months after. If I get a shitload of stuff for Christmas, that's either money, or something I can sell back for money, or gift cards, or anything of that matter, then I can go out and probably get Black Ops 2 during Christmas. But, I mean, I just, I, I hated Black Ops so much. It was it was a nice change of pace for a while, and just got just got old and last stand and the whole nine yards of that. And I know there's no last stand in Black Ops 2. It's just, it's just something. It looks the, I mean, just like looking at the graphics, the game kind, it kind of looks the same. I mean, uh, and I can tell already from one, one of my main concerns with it. I can tell already just from the gameplays that some people have been putting out that the spawn system is gonna need some tweaking off the get go. And I know it's, it's pretty much like that in every game. Call of Duty 4. Go back to Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 might have one of the better spawn systems, but anyways, um, I'm looking, I was, I was watching a gameplay while some guy was going over the new perks, which looked to be pretty well balanced, um, and he was, some guy was spectating, I think some guy from Optic or something like that, and they were playing the equivalent of what looks like drop zone or hard point or whatever is now, and he died and he spawned at the same point, this is in a matter of like 15 seconds or less died and spawned the same point four times in a row in the same exact point. Now he ran to the same place every single time, pretty much got lit up every single time, but whatever. Um, if, if it's somehow like all of a sudden it comes out like the first few weeks this is the best game ever, then I'll, I'll invest more time into thought about getting the game, but sh I don't want to shell out 120 bucks Halo 4 and Black Ops 2 in a short time span while I'm going to college here. So anyways, that's that. Um, pretty much the only thing left is um excited for week one in the NFL, and I am a Redskins fan. Now I know that's not a very optimistic thing to say, or not very optimistic. It's not a very happy thing to say, I guess, considering the Redskins are not very good. Nonetheless, uh, as I do pretty much every year, I'm making predictions for as teams go by week. And I think I might kind of make this like a weekly thing. I might put up on YouTube predictions if I do well. Um, I did some predictions for the Giants and Cowboys game and didn't get it right and lost some money. That kind of sucks. So we're on a bad start. But in any case, uh, here are my picks for week one. I have the Colts and Andrew Luck over the Bears, Falcons over the Chiefs, the Browns beating the Eagles as my upset of the week. I'm going to have probably at least one of those every week. Uh, the Redskins, even though I'm a Redskins fan, the Saints just got their four players back suspended because of the bounty system, so they're going to have tons of energy, and uh, the Saints are the Saints already, Drew Brees, and the Redskins are the Redskins already with Mike Shanahan and, and good old stuff, so the Saints are going to beat the Redskins. The Lions are going to beat the Rams, the Patriots over the Titans. Jaguars over the Vikings. The Vikings won't be, I don't think, anything even with Adrian Peterson, but we'll see. Uh, Sanchez and T-Bar can combine to get the first win in the first game over the Bills. Uh, got the Texans over the Dolphins. The Seahawks being the Cardinals. The Cardinals might go 0-16 this year, given their two amazing quarterbacks. The Packers being the 49ers, I think pretty handily. Most people are looking for a close game for that. I think Aaron Rodgers is just going to completely take, an o take over the game. Uh, Panthers being the Bucks, the Broncos and Payton being the Steelers in a defensive game. I think that will be something very interesting to watch. Uh, the Ravens beating the Bengals and Chargers over the Raiders on Monday Night Football. I will be putting probably all the scores that I have predicted with this 
week and the following weeks in the description and I think that will just about cover it. So until the next commentary, which will probably be in December, I'm out.